Hey everyone, this is Gayatri. Welcome you all to Bioschool. In today's session, we are going to discuss about patterns of evolution that is anagenesis and cladogenesis. We will discuss with examples and how they are differ from each other. So guys, let's get started. Anagenesis and cladogenesis are the patterns of biological evolution. And both the anagenesis and cladogenesis that leads to the speciation. Speciation means the formation of new species. So, what is anagenesis? Ana means new. Genesis means formation. So, anagenesis is the evolutionary change within a single lineage through time. See, this is the species A. And the species A is gradually changes into a different species that is the species B. So, here the one species that forms the another species and the changes that takes place within a single lineage that means that is the anagenesis on the other hand cladogenesis clados means branch okay B branch formation so it is the branching or the diversification of lineage through time okay this one is the species a and through time this species it is diversified into two different species okay that means it is branched into two different species like species A is differentiated into species B and species C. Okay, so this is the basic difference between the anagenesis and cladogenesis. Now we will see what other differences are present and we will discuss each of them in details. So first we will focus on anagenesis. So anagenesis, ana means new. That is the formation of new species within a lineage. There is no splitting or no branching in anagenesis. And the anagenesis, it takes place because of the gradual accumulation of hereditary changes in a population. Okay. In example, you can see this bird, or it, we can say this one is the species A and this one is the species B. This is present in a single lineage. Through the gradual accumulation of changes in a evolutionary period, period of time this species A it changes into the another species that is the species B and they quite look different from each other right because they are the two different species even they cannot interbreed with each other right and here you can say that the changes that is the gradual accumulation or the gradual changes okay and one gene pool is converted into another gene pool okay so what is the gene pool Gene pool is the total amount of gene that is present in a population of a species, right? So, here is the one species it is changes into the another species. So, the gene pool is also changes into another new gene pool. Okay? But this pattern of evolution, it is rare in nature. So, this one is rare in nature. So, if you will talk about the biodiversity, so what do you think? This type of evolution, it will promote biodiversity or not? No this type of evolution it cannot promote biodiversity right it does not promote biodiversity because when the new species is formed the old species it is getting extinct right that's why it does not promote the biodiversity so let's have a look on the evolution of uh, zira that is uh, takes place through anagenesis and it is really very rare so when the species a it get converted into the species b then at that time the species a it goes extinct so it does not promote the biodiversity and the evolutionary changes that takes place in a single lineage. So the next one is the cladogenesis. Clados means branch. So here it is the rapid splitting or branching of more than one species from original species. That means that is the cladogenesis. This one is the species A bird and this species A bird it split into or it is branched into two different species and this type of or this and this pattern of evolution it is most frequent in nature in cladogenesis let's say a species a it is the parent species and these are the daughter species so in cladogenesis you will find both the parent and daughter species okay they are living side by side 
and cladogenesis it uh, that lead to the speciation and it forms the new species it is because of the geographical barriers we can say that geographical barrier means that the, is the allopatric speciation here the species a it is present maybe because of the some environmental changes there is a geographical barrier between the species and in through the period of the time the another uh, the species that moved to the another geographical location it form a another species okay or it can takes place or the cladogenesis it may be because of the sympatric speciation also in sympatric speciation that means this the, both the species they are present in the same habitat there is no geographical barrier but because of the mutation one species it branched into or converted into two different species right so all these the mutation and the geographical barriers that leads to the formation of new species that is the cladogenesis pattern of evolution if you are going to talk about the gene pool what do you observe here here the one gene pool it does not changes into another gene pool but the one gene pool it is splitted into more than one gene pool okay or it is splitted into several several gene pools and the one species as the parent species and the daughter species they are present side by side that means the cladogenesis pattern of evolution it promote the biodiversity as the number of organisms are also increasing right okay let's have another example this one is the common ancestor to both the giraffe and okapi okay through the cladogenesis pattern of evolution this single species it is splitted or branched off into two different species right so this is the example of cladogenesis and the giraffe and the okapi um, they are the cousins okapi it is the forest cousin of giraffe okay okapi is also known as the forest giraffe so here the one gene pool it is split into two different gene pools right and it also promote the biodiversity hope now you understand the pattern of evolution what is anagenesis and cladogenesis and how they are different which pattern of evolution is more frequent in in nature and which pattern that promote the biodiversity so hope you like this video so if you want to get more videos like this in upcoming days then please stay connected with me and subscribe my channel bye bye see you in my next video